All right, well, welcome, everybody. I um, want to, uh, I guess I'm very, very excited to share with you how excited we are to welcome Lee Johnson as the new uh, manager at uh, Hibernian Football Club. It's probably the worst kept, kept secret in Scotland, to be honest. But in any event, it's, it's great to, to have him here today. Um, it's an opportunity for me to thank the board of the club, which was actively involved in the, uh, in the search for a manager, particularly the subgroup that did all the interviews. Uh, an opportunity as well to thank uh, Ben Kensel and Ian Gordon for the work that they did in the preliminary search um, and the analytical department which did a lot of uh, data crunching. Uh, last but not least I do want to thank David Gray uh, and Eddie May again for taking the helm of the club through the last uh, few matches of the season as we began our search uh, for our new manager. Um, we cast a, a wide net uh, to find a credible and qualified candidates uh, to, to, to lead our club and unanimously our group uh, came to the conclusion that Lee Johnson was the ideal candidate. Uh, there are many reasons for that but I can share some of them with you. Number one, he was the most experienced of the candidates with, with over 450 games as a manager. He had the highest winning record scoring lots of goals which we kind of like uh, which was great and there was a really good cultural fit in terms of the kind of football that he's going to bring. Attacking football, very modern, front foot kind of football. Um, there are a couple of other things that stood out for us. Uh, his keenness in terms of developing young players, a real commitment uh, to really strengthen the squad, create a winning culture, and at the end uh, have players grow into the best version of themselves. Um, it was, um, for us, uh, a choice that was kind of made on its, on its own. Um, he brings really a, a track record of success at almost every club that he's been at. Um, and I think um, just really we're very excited to welcome him, welcome him here. One of the other factors, which I think is an important factor, is the fact that um, Lee, I think, was very excited and enthused by the opportunity at Hibs. He wanted to be here. He has a real commitment to the success of the club. So with that, I'd, I'd like to officially welcome him to the club. Um, we're really, really excited. He's going to have our full support. Um, and I think he's the ideal candidate to take. We have a great sporting ambitions, and he's the Id ideal candidate to take our club to the next level. So, Lee, welcome to Hibernian. Thank you very much. Well, uh, amazing introduction, so I appreciate that. Um, you could be my agent. I'm, yeah, well, I'm happy to do that too. <laughs> um, no, for me, first and foremost, thank you to Ron and the board. Um, wonderful opportunity um, for me, you know, historic, iconic club. Um, I know a lot about Scottish football, of course. I've been up here and played a couple of times, but um, the history is something that really, really endeared me, if you like, to the club early. And um, when the job became available, straight away you look at that and think, OK, uh, there's something we can do and we can be really successful there. So uh, a lot of research went into it. I'd like to continue my research, of course, with the history of the club and the people and the players. But most importantly, of course, it's to try and fast track success uh, to win football matches. Lee, congratulations on the role. Thank you. Beyond the history, what else attracted you to, to this position in particular and enticed you back to Scottish football? It was a number of reasons. Um, like I say, first and foremost, the size of the club. I think that that's important to me. Um, I feel like I've got a little bit of unfinished business in Scotland. I, I wouldn't say my playing days, if you like, uh, really was sufficient for me to scratch the itch of my roots because I'm half Scottish and my mum's side um, fully Scottish. So for me, it's important. Um, and what better place to do it at a big club like this? But uh, I've always respected, obviously, the standard. And I think it's a real opportunity for success as well. You know, you see the European places available um, and, and it's a great league with big games uh, come around thick and fast. Let's get the awkward question out of the way quickly. You did have a <laughs> small spell across the other side of the city, including playing in a, a win over Hibs at Four Hearts. Are you hoping the, the fans here have forgotten that? Yeah, well, I don't think my stint was that memorable, first and foremost. Um, I think over 500 odd games a player, it was five or six for Hearts. So, uh, I don't know, yeah, there you go. So, but maybe it was because I was acting as a double agent uh, very early for Hibs. But no, listen, it's, it's part of my story. 
Um, it was a really interesting time uh, with what was going on, if you like, behind the scenes. But what you'll get from me here is obviously total commitment, be fully immersed into the into the city, into the culture and into the identity that we're trying to bring to Hibs. Ron, how important was it that you as a club got this appointment right? Well, as you're very important, as I've mentioned in several interviews already, I mean, I think the club is moving in a very positive directions on, on many fronts. Uh, and I think uh, with our, our kind of instability on the management side has, has not been a positive. It's probably the thing I'm most disappointed in. So we were, um, we were very diligent, I think, in our effort to try to find the, the, the right candidate. And I, I really feel that we've done our homework and we're very excited about having Lee here because I think he brings all the attributes and, and the skill set that we need and the leadership that we need uh, to have success. You spoke so positively since you came through the door here, but how far behind are you where you aim to be at this point, given the kind of ups and downs you've had managerially of late? Well, I, to be honest with you, I, I, yes, there have been some ups and downs on the sporting side, but you know we also have to remember some football successes since I've been here, which is not even three years, to be honest. So we've been in every semi-final, cup semi-final since I've arrived, and a couple of finals, which has been great. We've had some high finishes. Uh, but we still have had instability, so this is not, not good. Um, probably the thing that has set us back the, the most uh, has been the COVID, which financially uh, you know, kind of disrupted the club in its progress. But we're back on track, and I think the, the appointment today uh, you know, kind of is, a, is an important step forward in consolidating the progress that we've made. No European football when some of your rivals will have that and the revenue that brings a bottom half finish, will there yeah. be adequate resources for Lee to go and build a squad in, in, in the image he would like? I think so. I mean, uh, you know, obviously we, we want to be prudent in, in terms of what we, how we invest, but the truth is I think we're 100% at, at committed to giving Lee the support and resources that he needs to, to have success. So yes, um, you know, we're, it's probably not the best year to miss out on, on the top six and then compete for Europe, uh, but next year is a so it's a reset for us, and, and, and we can be back in Europe uh, with some success, or at least competing for Europe. Ron, you've set very high standards over the, the, the time that you've been at this club. Um, can you define, though, what would be success? For me, given the fact you've reached every semi-final, you've been in top six, with the exception of this Well, I mean, I think those are outlined in, in the goals that we've set for the club. You know, a, a top four finish is something that we want to do and, and, and achieve. You know, it's not a one-off. The whole idea is here to be at that level, at that at that kind of that segment of the of the table every every year. Uh, we want to be in semi-finals of the cups for sure, but if winning one or two of those would be kind of nice as well. And being in Europe is really for us the the, the holy grail. Being in the group stage of Europe is an ambition that we have. Um, you know, it it just doesn't happen, as you know. It, it's difficult. Um, but I, I really honestly believe that we, we have all the tools and right now with, with Lee here, the leadership that we need to, to get there. You mentioned uh, as well the instability in terms of the, the management on the pitch. How much did you have to sell Lee the fact that, yes, been three ma two managers in the last year? Well, I, he actually sell. asked that question <laughs> in the interview. I mean, you guys have had change. And, uh, but the truth of the matter is um, I think we, we, we hopefully... Uh, gave him assurances that, that the club is in, in a good place and making a lot of progress. Um, and really, I, I think, and I, you know, again, I, I've, I've, taken the, I've, I've taken the responsibility and the blame for some of the changes that we've, that we've had, but, and, and rightly so. So, um, you know, I, 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 it's incumbent on, on us, it was incumbent on us to select a good candidate, and I think we have an ideal candidate in Lee, and then to give him the support that he needs to succeed. You've also mentioned in previous interviews about the recruitment. I know Lee is very strong on, on commitment and uh, on, rec on recruitment. How will this work then? Well, Lee is, is going to lead the way in recruitment in terms of what he's looking for. Uh, and we have, a, I think, a very strong uh, kind of um, analytical and recruitment department in terms of casting a net so that we bring forward uh, some very, very good options at whatever it is that he's looking for. Um, I think, you know, I think that is going to be an important part. I, I know he's done already a lot of homework in terms of looking at our squad and what we have and where we can make some improvements or changes or, or add uh, to the strength of the squad. And that work, I think, is, although he's already done a lot of homework, I'm, I know that for a fact, but I think the work's just beginning now that he's here. 
important thing for me. And the, the fans have been very disappointed. That's a been you. I, the fans are all. Uh, can we make all the fans happy all the time? No, probably not. Brian, you are probably the only one who makes everybody happy all the time. No, but no, other than that, no, no. how convinced are you, though? That, and how much canvassing did you do with supporters with regards to leave appointment? Well, I, I heard from. We've heard from a ton of supporters. Um, you know, I mean, I, I think. Supporters are a fickle bunch. You never make them all happy, but we've had some great support for Lee as well as uh, you know some people who are naysayers. Uh, but it doesn't really matter what we do. We're always going to have the naysayers. So, um, but I, I can tell you that unequivocally, that for us and particularly the the, the committee that put the, the, the did the search and did the heavy lifting, Lee was the ideal candidate, the perfect candidate for us. So we're very excited about that. Most of the supporters were not in that room. <laughs> <laughs> Rod, what, what's the biggest lesson that you've learned as an owner, as the chairman here, over what has been a difficult last 12 months for the, for the club? I think for me, it's, well, it's probably along the lines of the support. I think uh, I'm very excited about the progress. I'm very excited about the energy that we've brought to the club, the leadership that we have, uh, the ambition that we have for the club. Uh, I think I'm, uh, that's all been a lot of fun and really, really good. Um, probably the biggest challenge for me and, and kind of in a way a little disappointing and, and learning for me is, is, is in fact around the supporters. Uh, you know, that we can't really make, despite all the good things that we're trying to do, uh, and you know, we're not going to get everything right, and certainly I, I'm not going to get everything right. Um, yeah, we, we, we've had some bumps along the way, and, and I think sometimes the supporters are not um, not in, you know, they're, 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 they're critical of what we're doing, uh, but which is, they're right. So you have to accept that that's part of the game. But that's probably been the most difficult part for me. Other than that, though, I think the club is in, in a really good spot. Are you would be frustrated that as you get kind of closer to the vision that you have for the club, that that, that still exists, you know, that, that, that maybe there have been bumps in the road and they're being accentuated, I don't know. Yeah, but I think... I, you know, to achieve success in any walk of life is not easy. And you're always going to have bumps. So football is particularly difficult, I think, because you have 11 other players trying to get in your way. <laughs> so, uh, so, you know, we need to be conscious of that. Um, but, you know, ultimately I do think that the club is headed in, in the right direction. Um, and, I, and I think we're doing a lot of things right. And today's appointment for me is, is an important step in that direction. Lee, can I just ask, obviously you've been managing for a while now, I mean, how would you assess the way things have gone for you and what type of manager are Hibs getting at this stage in your career? I'd like to think, um, certainly a hungry manager, um, I feel like football's in my blood, you know, my father's a manager, a lot of my family are in football and uh, I've had a lot of experience really despite my relatively young years um, and I want to bring all that to Hibs, it's as simple as that, you know, I'm a I'm a small part of a really big wheel um, and I want to bring my very best, uh, extreme work rate and I, I hope to, to share you know, with, out, with the coaches at the football club, um, I like to bring that obviously leadership quality that comes with the experience but of course the main thing is always is getting a support base that feels attached and can identify with a performance and I think I want the fan base to to really be a part of the performance and I think that's absolutely key for me like can we have such a clear identity can we have a clarity in the way that we play that they can start to recognize uh, key factors in games and therefore get behind us and support us and I think like you've seen the stadium fantastic facilities fantastic training ground really good academy that was one of the big things that I think was important and I'm just looking to add value as much as I can to the organization I think that's, that's a key factor for any manager coming into a football club. It's not about me, you know, it's about the collective and I'm there to, to guide, to nourish, to nurture uh, the players and, and the people at the football club. Ron says you've done your homework on the squad and what have you. I mean, what are your impressions of the squad and how big a rebuild do you think might be required to get Hibs to where you want them to be? Yeah, I think it's like slightly underachieved, if I'm honest, uh, for various reasons. And there's always context to that, by the way. So, obviously, I, I've been in jobs and I know the context is important. But I also think there's some fantastic footballers in the club, some really good young players, which I like. Um, and I think that we, we've got the scope to go and add uh, quality, uh, particularly at that sort of forward 
end of the pitch that we need to do um, to go and be successful. And uh, it was pretty tight anyway. Um, uh, you know, I mean, probably one win uh, outside. I think it was the top five, top six. So there's a lot to do, but I also feel I can add value um, to the to the team and the current squad as it is, uh, just as a coach and a coach alone. Just one more, Jimmy McAllister. What will he bring as your assistant? Yeah, well, that's not done yet. I mean, obviously, Jamie's a, a fiery Scot in terms of his personality. You know, a very different personality to me, but he's a fantastic human, first and foremost, which you need. Um, and he's a manager in his own right, in my opinion. And I think that becomes really important because it allows me to focus uh, over other parts of the, the business, if need be, um, and allow him to do his work. But uh, a top-class coach, uh, a top-class person, and obviously somebody that I think can um, add some s real qualities, maybe that are different to mine uh, in the organisation. Just want to wait. This is for Ron, probably, but maybe for both of you, David Gray. Is he likely to remain part of the coaching setup going forward? Yeah, David. for me that was important as well. Uh, it was a. Um, I think that obviously David's uh, legendary <coughs> status at the club becomes important. He's early on his journey for, for coaching. I think he'll really enjoy it, you know, we'll bring him close. There'll be no sort of hierarchy, if you like, as we will do with all the staff. Um, and I think his knowledge of both Hibs itself, but also Scottish football is going to be paramount to early success. Lee, how much are you looking forward to being part of the Scottish Premiership this time as a manager? I'm really looking forward to it, you know, like I understand it because I've been here before. You know, it's intense. It's intense up here. Just obviously all you guys here today. And it's good to see uh, some faces that I haven't seen in a long time. But, you know, the passion, I think, is the bit that draws me back, if you know what I mean. Um, the big games that you've got, uh, the intensity. And I just feel like Scottish football is really starting to make its mark again. Um, particularly when I first came up to play, it was a, it was a really good league. I think the quality suffered by the time, four or five years later, when I came up to play for Kilmarnock, and I see that quality uh, coming back, and obviously um, you're seeing that in performances, and, and obviously European places being expanded by uh, the quality of the national team, and also the teams uh, getting to Europe. Lee, uh, Ron mentioned you know, your style of play when you were talking about the interview. What, what's ideally a lot Lee Johnson Hibs look like? Well, I think it's an aggressive team in terms of forward thinking. You know, I want players to play forward, run forward, um, to to build, and we can go as technical as you like. Um, but the simplicity and simple sort of aspect is to make sure that we're playing with such a tempo and a high line that we can force the opposition in, into unforced errors. So we can win the ball back, and, and we can dictate the game. Not so much uh, in terms of possession. Like I do like possession because I like control, but not necessarily 60% possession. It's 52, 54% because I want us to be world class in transition. And obviously, we need athletic players for that. We need quality. We need good decision makers. And we're speaking to Sunderland podcast, they credit AJ for sort of giving youngsters an opportunity. I think Dan Neal got an opportunity and then went on to win Young Player of the Year. So is that something the youngsters in the squad can really look, look forward to opportunities? Well, the, the pathway will be there, that's for sure. Um, I think just as a club, um, obviously, historically, has brought through some fantastic players and young players through the academy. And there's some good players in there now. So you always try and encourage that pathway, but not at the mercy of results. You know, they've got to be ready. Uh, and it's not a youth club, you know, this is a club that is um, trying to nurture talented young men and then uh, giving them the vehicle, if you like, to perform and perform to high quality. So you've got to get the balance, as we know, um, in any successful team. Um, but the senior players here are really good characters. And I think that is important because often your senior players, uh, A, manage the dressing room, but B, set the standards. and. Uh, it's important that we are, are a class act, but uh, we give everything, uh, obviously, for the shirt and the badge. And finally, for me, I mean, you've joined clubs mid-season before. You know, is this the perfect time when the season's just finished? You've got the time to do planning, the transfer window in pre-season. It's potentially the perfect time to join a club. That's a huge element. That I really do think that's going to be huge because to have a pre-season 
and getting to know the players, understanding their personalities, the strengths and the weaknesses, the partnerships um, is, is so important. And uh, I enjoy pre-season because I think you can bed in a lot of your principles as a coach and then hopefully hit the ground running uh, really quickly going into the league campaign. You obviously had a little bit of time now since you left Sunderland. How was that period for you? How different a manager are you now than, than when you were at Sunderland? Um, I, w I wouldn't say different in terms of my values and, and my playing style. Um, I think naturally you always reflect. I think it's the right thing to do um, on any situation and you have to learn. You know, If you stop learning in football, you get found out very quickly. Football evolves, football moves quickly, the players change. It seems like every three to, to five months and you've got to be on the front foot with it. So you have to uh, stay in it. It was nice to spend a bit of time with the family. Um, but inevitably, uh, the itch to get back on the grass and to coach and, and to lead and manage a football club was too strong and, uh, and this club felt like the perfect fit.